Hey y'all, so I have some oranges, some strawberries, some celery, some lemons, ginger, and cucumbers in here. And I'm just gonna juice that and I have some hard boiled eggs and that will be my breakfast for next week. All right, so for meal number two, I'm going to um, season these asparagus, put them in the oven. And I have some salmon I cubed and I'm going to season that up. I did take the skin off as well. And this is lemon pepper, I know you can't really see it. Um, and I'm just gonna mix that up real good with some butter in the pan. I'm gonna um, sear both sides of the salmon um, after they're brown. I didn't have any sauce, so I wanted to make a quick sauce. These soy sauce packs came in handy. Threw some minced garlic in there. This was so good. And I used three honey sticks. Boom, lunch. So I am sauteing some onion and garlic. This is my last meal for the week. Um, I'm just gonna brown up this ground beef, season that bad boy up. And this is going to be for my shepherd's pie. I actually forgot the mashed potatoes, but thank God the kids had mashed potatoes last night and I have about a cup and a half left, which should be just enough to put over the top of this. <laughs> so I mixed everything together, put a couple of dashes of Worcestershire, added my um, peas and carrots, a little half a teaspoon of the beef base, put that in a casserole dish, and then I spread that leftover mash over the top. And like I said, it was just enough. Sprinkled some of that extra sharp cheddar and baked it and this is it. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. So I'm on day 10 of my um, 30 day weight loss challenge for myself. <laughs> and I'm gonna make some beef stew here. This is for my meal prep for next week. I'll have it for either lunch or dinner, whichever I prefer. Um, so here's all my seasonings. I did put some olive oil up in there so the seasonings can stick a little better. And then I'm gonna sear these off on both sides, just to get some color in there. I'm gonna make a nice broth. And then once that is coming to a simmer, I did peel and cube my turnips. That's gonna be my potato replacement. And put a couple of dashes of Worcestershire. Then I made a little cornstarch slurry to help thicken it a little bit. And then I just put that to boil and I have a half a cup of white rice. And that's it.